today we start the fourth leg of our Europe to Africa road trip and we are so excited for the next leg of this journey. Tonight at five o'clock we get a ferry from Sardinia to Sicily in the south of mainland Italy. Unfortunately we do have a slight problem that we need to deal with today before we can actually get that ferry and we have to because we've been told that we cannot board the ferry without this item. We also have to get there at least two hours before and we have to drive there from here so we need to set off into town right now. Wait. Need to arm our camera. Armed. Armed and ready. Let's go. <laughs> you only hold my hand to the camera. Yeah. You can uh, really tell that we're tourists because we're in our shorts and shirt and everyone else is in puffer jackets, long trousers, like it's winter. I guess it is winter for them, but not for us, baby. Okay. So the problem that we've got is that in order to board the ferry, we've been told on an email two days ago that we have to have a printed ticket. Now obviously we live in a van, we do not have a printer in our van, so we have to find a way to get our tickets and the email confirmation printed. And the email specifically said, you will not be able to board the ferry without this printed ticket. This is the predicament we're in. So now we're gonna walk around this town, go in pretty much every shop we can that we think might have a printer, and hope that we can actually figure this out so we can board our ferry tonight. You'd think that in 2022, nearly 2023, this sort of thing wouldn't be a problem, but you can always count on the Italian companies <laughs> to be a bit awkward in our experience. <laughs> okay, so we're looking for some sort of tourist information or a hotel or something that we think will definitely have a printer, but so far all we've seen is bakeries, coffee shops and butchers. Everything else is closed. This is no good, not gonna happen. Nope, definitely not. No! Ah. <laughs> so close, yeah, so closed. <laughs> so this would have been great. Nice sign here, giving it away. It's a touristic shop, but um, it's closed on a Saturday. Why would it be closed on a Saturday? This is like the perfect day for people holiday shopping, right? On we go. Well, this is the tourist information and it's not open. You see a printer? I don't see a printer. The hunt continues. Well, if we're running low on time, we can always get one of these back to the van. Meow, meow. Or if you're me. Buongiorno. Mm. Can I have my phone? Buongiorno! Uh, sorry. <laughs> I wonder if you have a pr- Oh, it doesn't have a printer. Oh yeah, I'm a user. Do you speak English? Mm. No, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Print. Print, yes. Yeah. Is it okay? Ah, perfect. And the uh, price? Costo. Uh, cost? Quanti che fu con il book? Vediamo di cost. Ticket. Please see the cost. Um, cioè, pagine sono? Okay. okay, I will uh, email. Mm -hmm. Grazie. <laughs> okay, so we found a fax and photocopying shop. What's the, what's the chances of that? <laughs> we have no idea what the price is because we can't understand, but it's given us an email address. All right, email sent. Now let's hope we can get this printed and it doesn't cost the earth. Normally it's like 20p a piece of paper, right? In the UK. Yay. Yay. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, perfect. Grazie. Uno tanta, un euro e tanta. Ah, grazie. Grazie mille. Oh. Okay. Ciao. Ciao. Arrivederci. Okay, thank God for that. At least we got it sorted. What are the chances that there was gonna be like a fax copying place in this tiny village? But now, we got time for coffee, baby. 
maybe cost us one euro eighty. Are you sure? Two, three, twenty. He gave me back one euro eighty. That's good maths, right? <laughs> That's cheap. <laughs> So we are yet to really master how to ask for a long coffee in Italian. Or we any ask, language. Or any language. <laughs> we asked for like Grande Cafe Nero um, and what we got was that. But then we managed to actually get some hot water that we can add in ourselves. We're improving. <sighs> okay, let's enjoy this. And we are sat in the cutest little place where all of the chairs like face out into the street and it's basically us and like the village townsmen. It's adorable. Round two. I got pizza this time. There was a really cute old guy behind the uh, counter in there and I couldn't resist. So, got time to kill. It's all good. Oh, it's just like a mozzarella tomato pizza. <laughs> I love pizza. Even better when it's for breakfast. Well, let's look. <laughs> So this park up the way we're at is absolutely beautiful. It is right next to the sea over the road and there is like a lagoon here with like herons and bird life and stuff. But it is the time of year where everyone seems to be like burning stuff on their land in Sardinia. And it just absolutely stinks and it gets all over your clothes, all in the van. It's kind of minging. So it's like being at a bonfire. So we're gonna get inside and finish the prep for the ferry trip. Oh. She's warm in here, Courtney. Oh, hi. Are you taking your pants off? Yeah, they're very uncomfortable. Nobody should have to wear pants ever. It's liberating. Hey! Is it just me or does anyone else feel like underwear is just like totally unnecessary? It's so restrictive and I just feel like she deserves to breathe and that's all I'm going to say on the matter. Oh, even though it's 100 degrees in here, it's time to pack. Backpack! Woo! Passports and tickets. Towels for a shower. Shower gel. Scrubbers. Laptops. Oh. <laughs> Their pants please. Socks. Honestly, it's like packing with a child. Oh, most important thing, leisure wear! Yay! I'm ready! I didn't actually pack before, I just threw stuff down here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now I'm packing. Okay, well seeing as we are super efficient and we are ready like 45 minutes early before we need to leave, and that's us leaving extra early. We're gonna go and check out the beach one final time, say goodbye to Sardinian golden sand and yeah just enjoy these last few moments of sunshine on this island mm -hmm. <sighs> lovely lush oh sardinia has been amazing for beaches and for nature warm, warm sea as well warm sea warm novembers yeah. <laughs> it's amazing so if you're looking for winter sun would definitely recommend sardinia don't fall over! <laughs> okay. I've got that nice, excited slash nervous feeling you've been told me. Because it's like travel day. Um, and these are really exciting days for us. So when you and like another ferry, you never know really what's going to happen. It could be fantastic, it could be a terrible experience. That's what's exciting. Travel day, travel, travel, day, day, travel, day, travel, day, travel 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 all right with me. Hi. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I see a queue. I see motorhomes. 
back. Maybe there is only one route from here, so... Well, no, there's only one more entrance. But there'll be multiple ferries that go from here to different locations. Yeah, that one says Cold Poo. That's the name of the boat. Oh, the boat's called Cold Poo. That's confusing. Woohoo! What time are we meant to be here? Two no hours later before. than three, and it's 20 past two. So we got here 40 minutes ahead of the two hour check-in time. I thought I would just read you some of the reviews for Grimaldi lines coming from this port because <laughs> it's quite comical. I'm not really sure what we're in for. So three months ago, quite organized, the only flaw is to create three waiting lines. The central one must converge, causing a traffic jam and at the detriment to all the vehicles in the central row. We're in the central row. The Grimaldi ship is the worst I've ever seen. Very little space, all badly managed, very expensive and very bad breakfast. I have no good words to spend for this route. Really looking forward to this journey. It's just turned three o'clock, which is the last time for check-in, but check-in hasn't opened yet. So riddle me that one, guys. We're moving. So I am gonna try the digital ticket to see whether they accept that and see whether the rules that they have on the email confirmation is just absolute rubbish um, and yeah if they basically don't ask for the paper copy I'm gonna be pissed what a waste of a day yeah it will be so wasteful we're going to Sicily is that Italian? I don't want to sound like I'm moaning to all the people back in the UK when it's cold, but it's so hot in this van. <laughs> I'm melting. I feel like I'm sat in a conservatory. <laughs> you kind of are. Ciao. How about something? You have to take your baggage, okay. pay your own baggage, and go to the uh, pedestrian way ah. and do the security control. Okay. So after that, he pick up you okay, over here in front of the, the bus. Okay. okay. I will you do that. Get, I go. Okay, I need to get, get out here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is very different from England. It's a trick. <laughs> Grazie, me. <laughs> Thank you. Remind, remind to pick up your. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I have to get out and walk through um, foot passenger control. Ah, okay, over here. So he said I take my baggage and then passengers have to walk through. And I guess I just queue. And wait and then James can pick me up uh, through the other side apparently. Uh, What's the car? The this one, yeah. Take me the ticket and you're looking. Oh, here? Yes. Is it okay? Yes. Oh, on the left. Yeah. On the left. Okay. Okay. Check my passport. Checked my phone digital ticket. James looks like he's getting a little search done. I don't know if you can see that. They got the they've got the back doors open, so I think they're doing a little check. <laughs> so I just had to drive over a something, a camera on the floor and then show them the back of the van and now I need to pick up my wife, well, wife to be and I do not know where she is but I think we're through and then I have no idea where I'm going Let's just wait and see. I have no idea. Come on, Courtney. The completely empty check in room? The straight through? Aha. Enjoy the ride. Machina! <laughs> oh. Okay! And here is my ride! Here she is! 
Success! I made it through! <laughs> that was so bizarre! Did you get a ticket? Did you get like a boarding pass or No! Okay. Like we're waiting in the queue. Another queue! Another queue! <laughs> Another queue! So after all that palaver this morning, they actually accepted the digital ticket on the phone. That is so annoying. I'm not saying they will always accept the <laughs> digital ticket. <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for everyone being like, oh, we don't need one. But in our instance, it was completely pointless. <laughs> now get me on this ferry. What a waste of one euro 80. God, lift. Oh well, always better to cover all bases. Yeah. Here we go. Look at that, what a judgement call that was. That was a great parking space. We're on the ferry, we're on the ferry. Uh, 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 uh. Forward, forward, forward. Stop. Be careful with Didi. Yeah, guys, manhandled her wing mirror like. Um. You just fell off. <laughs> okay. Absolute chaos today. <laughs> so much chaos. <laughs> God, the Italians really know how to run a port, don't they? I'm being sarcastic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get our cabin. Yay! Ooh. Be careful. Be good, Dee Dee. Good to see the no camping signs follow us around everywhere. <laughs> oh, this is spacious. Well, that's it. We made it on successfully, and obviously, cabin's great. So. That was probably one of the more crazy ferry boardings we've ever had. Certainly was. But we're okay. I really enjoyed it actually. <laughs> it was a bit like, oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Now we're feeling buzzed and we're just going to chill out in this lovely cabin. And if you want to watch more ferry videos, because you really love ferries, yeah. then watch this one over here. Let me back in. Yeah. <laughs>